Well, as times change, so does technology, and that holds true also for school districts as they navigate a new standardized testing regulation that utilizes artificial intelligence, better known as AI, to grade open-ended questions for the STAR test. Our Josh Maxwell spoke with education experts to see how the new automated scoring engine will be utilized by districts and where exactly that line between man and machine will be drawn. He joins us live in studio with the latest. Josh. Rudy Leslie, we've come a long way from red ink pens and paper essays. In fact, a lot of that has gone digital. But even with all those innovations, experts I spoke with say there are still checks and balances when it comes to grading. So a lot of our students are used to using the computer and, and testing online. As with most things, the practice of standardized testing has seen some upgrades. Skidmore Tyne and Assistant Superintendent Stephanie Ashworth referring to the new state regulation that will use AI to help grade written answers on the STAR test. If there is something that is not within their parameter as they're grading it, it is flagged and put off to the side, and a human grader will then grade that. In a recent report from the Texas Tribune, it's a move that will save the Texas Education Agency more than $15 million. Ashworth says it's beneficial as technology becomes more reliable. We're already using this technology like for our TSI uh, test takers. Um, that this is a natural progression. Another sign of innovation being online practice exams. With just a simple link, students can look up old tests so that way they can better prepare for their future ones. They needed to be able to have a more streamlined process for grading those submissions. But that preparation also being felt by educators. I think it's going to be more effective for everyone. Education Service Center Region 2 Administrator Rebecca Johnson says that as the STAR test evolves, so must the procedures surrounding it. PEA has used the automatic scoring engine in our December EOC station and determined there was not a big discrepancy in what they had seen previously with scores. Now, for parents concerned, ChatGPT is not the program that they are going to be using to help grade these tests. Ashworth did tell me that Skidmore Tynan does start, te does start te testing next week. She says that she has confidence in the technology as her district moves forward. Rudy, Leslie. All right, Josh, thank you so much for that report. Well,